What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Yeah, you heard about it. Kyle Rudolph is a new Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Big old guy, 6'6", 265. He's going to be playing tight end, filling a massive hole left by none other than Rob Gronkowski. Soon to be Hall of Famer. Let's see if he stays retired. But let's break down Kyle Rudolph's tape and what he's going to bring to the Buccaneers. So he didn't have a big year last year. 26 catches, 257 yards, one touchdown only. But the biggest thing I see he brings value to this team is in that red zone. I only had one last year, but 49 for his career. Look at his average. It's a little bit over five every every season, it seems. And that's where I think Tom Brady's going to love this dude. And we're going to break down the tape for you. And let's see. Let's break it down. And boom, here we go. So the first play, probably the most favorite of all Buccaneer fans. Him just destroying the Saints, ending their season. Plus, I'll let you break this down for them. Yeah, here they have you know Kyle Rudolph out wide, and he's just going to win a, a fade ball. Um, and again, a good throw here by uh, Kirk Cousins. And you know Kyle does what he does, and that's just go up and get the football, and you know make a nice play on it. And again, showing the the length here, the size, and again that's a good mis mismatch to to take advantage of, and that's something the Bucks can do with him uh, inside the red zone. And different angle, same play. Look at the separation, kind of one little tap off. High points the ball using that 6'6 size, length, size, everything you want as a tight end in the red zone target. And just good stuff to see overall. And then in the middle of the, of the field, this Bucks offense has plenty of weapons on the outside. But guess what? You can also find guys, easy targets in the middle. Let's just body in front of a linebacker, make a secure catch and get down. I like it. What do you see? Right. Yeah. Like you said, just being that big target over the middle of the field. And I think that's something, you know, the Bucks want in their offense more often. And, you know, Tom, you know, finding that connection, that's going to be uh, pivotal. Uh, again, just a good addition, you know, adding that size. And again, same thing here uh, where now he's going to be running towards the flat and he's going to do a, you know, a nice little catch, make a guy miss, which probably won't happen often with Kyle Rudolph. But again, he shows that ability uh, to get out open in space and, and make a play yeah but he's not a statue he can actually move he can actually be a little bit nimble he's not just some slob of a guy like people think donovan smith is i don't know why i'm comparing him to a left tackle but still <laughs> he can make a little move he can run people over using that size to advantage and something you like to see again this is where i like to see him red zone target just piss poor throw <laughs> by the quarterback here but tell me what you see here yeah, here again, just displaying the the red zone ability. Uh, again, big size uh, target, and Tom usually is going to put this right on the money. Again, just a poor throw here by Kurt. Uh, but again, you just see the ability there to to make that kind of play, the space, and his ability to uh, get in front of defenders is is really important. Yeah, the awareness of space, bodying out his guy. Look at all the space that the quarterback should have thrown to. Tom Brady will make that throw. Uh, things that you saw him and Gronk just connect on time and time again and something you hope to see he connects with Kyle Rudolph now. And just finding holes in the, in the, in the gaps of the defense. What do you like with this one? Yeah, here, just understanding, you know, zone concepts. Okay, I'm going to run to a spot. And again, it's a good route concept by the Giants. And he does a good job of just getting to his assignment and making the play. So again, sure hands big target, red zone threat, all things you love to see. And this is all recent videos. This isn't like, oh, five years ago, he was like this. This is last year. It's him getting open against the Saints. Again, always good to see it against the Saints, making plays, and hopefully he can bring that to this Buccaneer offense. But this is where I think he's going to eat the most in the middle because, you know, we always like those four verticals, guys. Wait, one more. There you go. But in the middle of the, de <laughs> middle of the defense, let's get some Kyle Rudolph, big 6'6", 265 need against those linebackers underneath over the top doesn't matter i like that he can use his big body to his advantage right i totally agree just being that consistent target over the middle of the field i think is going to be very good for this offense get those five to seven yard gains instead of always going for the the big gains but if you want a big gain he can still do that as you see him go down the middle of the field run a nice little post route over the middle and he's going to try to take this all the way i mean big guys rumbling stumbling bumbling and almost gets into the end zone. <laughs> Getting on his horse, too. Look at him here. So, I mean, break down the play. Literally just middle of the field, like I mentioned earlier. I mean, he's going to eat, whether it's behind the linebackers or in front of them. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, using that big size to your advantage, you saw him eat 
in between. Linebacker thinks that's where he's going to go again. Nope. Going over the top, just getting by him and wide the hell open. Getting in those open gaps and look at him on his damn horse. Running through guys, pushing over. Like you mentioned in our shorts, I mean, he has a little bit more steam left in the tank or a little bit of gas left in the tank. So let's see what he can do in the Sam Bay Buccaneer offense. Now looking at the running game, what does he bring here? I think, you know, run game, he just brings consistency and dependability. And, you know, here in line, you know, getting up on 96 there does a good job of just riding him out of the play. And and more than willing blocker, that's for sure. And he just does his job. I I think that's the biggest thing you can look at it. Uh, Just really consistent in his his technique. Again, here getting outside, taking on uh, a corner. And he's going to push him out of the play. Again, being physical and continue to run downhill. A big thing to me, just doing your job, doing your assignment, not overplaying, not trying to do too much, not getting beat. <laughs> That's another thing. Not just immediately getting beat, beat off the line and just getting downhill. Here, I love this. I mean, this is a long way he has to run to make this block on the linebacker. And look at the linebacker he's blocking. That's one hell of a good run defending linebacker. I know he gets in into play, but still, he gets knocked off his spot. Kyle Rudolph, I like it a lot. What do you see? Right, agreed. And this just gives him, you know, that mobility and flexibility out in the run game. That's going to be huge for our offense, especially when we like to run plays like this, whether it be zone runs or, you know, outside zone. Um, Again, coming down line, you know, taking on linemen, Cam Jordan here. So just does a good job of being physical, holding his man up. And like you said, not getting beat initially, you know, making impact and, and being at the point of attack and being in the right spot. And is it any question that we're throwing Saints film? No. I mean, we're going to be playing them twice a year. This is a team we can't beat. Does he do well against them? Yeah. He, good effort, good running game, good ca- pass catching ability. Is he great? Is he Gronkowski? No. But, hey, the guy is serviceable, and he could likely be our number one tight end option. Here he is in the passing game, too. Blocking, pass blocking. Everyone loved Gronk's pass blocking ability. Kyle Rudolph can do the same. Right, agreed. And, and again, it's it's nothing you know special uh, from like just dominating, but he does his job. He, again, solid enough technique, and he's going to be in the right spot, and that's most important. Yeah, and just giving Tom Brady the extra half second, second that he needs to throw the ball. We all know how good Tom is once he has any time at all. Other than that, guys, hope you like the content. Make sure to hit that light button, light button down below. Comment down below, is Kyle Rudolph going to be our number one tight end? What do you think of the addition? And with that said, guys, until the next one.